The DC Comics universe hasn't flooded the big screen quite the way Marvel ones have, but the DC brand has been hitting the big screen longer in the modern era. We ranked all those modern flicks, from Superman, the movie, to Wonder Woman, and Justice League, 31. Superman IV, The Quest for Peace, 1987, Christopher Reeve is by far the best Superman. But Superman IV is a bomb in every sense, partly because of its heavy-handedness about bombs. Nuclear bombs. The film finds Superman trying to eliminate the world's nuclear threat, but his best intentions run afoul of a silly, badly dated villain named Nuclear Man. 30. Supergirl, 1984. We had a female superhero movie in 1984, and it was pure cheese. But hey, at least they tried. The best thing I can say about it is there are worse things in life than this movie. 28. Steel, 1997, best known as the one Shaq was in back when he tried acting. Steel is pretty bad, but the fun kind of bad. 27. Justice League Warner Brothers has continued to innovate in how to make bad DCEU movies, with Justice League managing to be terrible in a totally different way from Batman v Superman and Suicide Squad. 26. Man of Steel, 2013, could have been worse, I guess. But it's still morally gross and has a plot that doesn't make sense. That it's very pretty to look at doesn't override those things nearly enough to make it watchable. 25. Catwoman, 2004, thoroughly horrible, but somehow amusing even so. Sad that it's seemingly been swept into the litter box of history. 24. Batman. Uma Thurman and Arnold Schwarzenegger are going so far over the top I can't help but admire them. 23. Superman 3, 1983, featured a brilliant corporate rip-off, one later referenced in Office Space, but the attempt to funny things up with the addition of Richard Pryor didn't gel. There was also a weird bit about a weather satellite creating bad weather, which isn't what weather satellites do. Seeing Clark Kent fight Superman was pretty cool, though. 22. Green Lantern, 2011, overliance on cartoony visual effects during a period when big blockbusters were moving away from that aesthetic meant this was a movie nobody liked. Not that it was especially horrible. It just looked like a dumb cartoon and is hard to watch. 21. The Dark Knight Rises, 2012, probably wasn't intended to be a grim and gritty Schumacher Bat movie, but that is indeed what it is. This is Nolan going full Hollywood, smashing plot points into a place by sheer force of will rather than because they make sense. An extremely theatrical Tom Hardy as Bane is amusing front to back, and a nuke with a countdown clock on it will never get old. 20. Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice, 2016, a total mess that hates Superman and turns Batman into a total maniac. None of those things are good. Ben Affleck can't save the thing, but he's excellent nonetheless and gives it a huge bump it probably doesn't deserve. 19. Watchmen 2009 I have no particular affection for the revered Watchmen comic the way a lot of other nerds do, so my distaste for this adaptation isn't personal. It just doesn't add up for nearly as much as it thinks it does. 18. Batman 1989 Fondly remembered mostly because it was the first Bat movie in a couple decades. It isn't actually very good, though. The reveal that a younger version of the Joker killed Bruce Wayne's parents is as ham-fistedly dumb as it gets in a Batman movie. 17. V for Vendetta, 2006, felt nothing watching this. I tried, okay. It's impeccably made, though, and very watchable. 15. Batman v Superman Ultimate Edition, 2016, giving this its own slot because it fundamentally changes the narrative of the movie and the character of Superman in the DC Extended Universe. This version is still not great, especially at three freaking hours, but it's a monumental improvement over the theatrical version. 14. Red 2 Inches, 2013, did you even know these were comic book movies? Whatever, it's a great cast in a serviceable action movie and everybody's having a good time. Hard to remember, but fun. 13. Red. 2010. Better than its sequel, but they're basically the same. 12. The Dark Knight. 2008. Should be way shorter, but Heath Ledger's Joker is far and away the best villain in any of these movies. Ledger elevates what would otherwise be just another self-indulgent Christopher Nolan exercise into an endlessly watchable picture.
11. Batman Forever 1995 hits just the right tone for what Joel Schumacher was trying to do with the two films he directed. Tommy Lee Jones, as Two-Face, is doing stuff in this movie that is hard to believe even today, given his perpetual sour face in nearly every other movie he's been in. Superman Returns 2006 Actually a pretty decent attempt by Brian Singer to do a Christopher Reeve Superman movie in the present day, but Brandon Routh couldn't pull off the charisma it takes to be the Man of Steel. It was his first movie, so that's not surprising. But it's a shame, because Routh has got in much better in the years since. 9. Batman, Mask of the Phantasm 1993 Remember the time they released a Batman cartoon theatrically? It gets lost amongst all the live-action ones, but Mask of the Phantasm is better than most of them. 8. The Lego Batman Movie 2017 Funny, sweet and self-deprecating, exactly what we needed in the wake of the disaster that was Batman v Superman 7. Superman 2 1980 made kids everywhere cry as they watched Superman give up his powers for a normal life with Lois Lane, Margot Kidder. There are different edits of this movie, and we frankly can't keep them straight. But the sight of a powerless Clark getting beat up in a diner made Superman as sympathetic as he's ever been. Wonder Woman 2017 has the standard origin movie problem of too much story, not enough time, and the standard DC Extended Universe problem of we gotta have a nonsensical CGI battle at the end. But despite those caveats it's an enormous delight and a big step forward for the DCEU. 5. Batman Returns 1992 One of the best of the franchise because it's really just a political thriller. The Penguin emerges from the sewer and runs for Mayor of Gotham. It's great stuff, especially as we continue to watch the rise of Trump in our world. 4. Constantine 2005 A happy balance of serious and ridiculous manages to find exactly the right tone for this weird religious fantasy and a cast led by Keanu Reeves. They all seem to get it. 3. Superman, the movie, 1978. This is the gold standard of Superman movies, and was the best superhero movie bar none for many, many years. John Williams score soars, and so does the believable and compelling romance between Superman and Lois Lane. The film convincingly blended camp, in the form of Gene Hackman's wonderful Lex Luthor, an epic origin story that actually felt epic, and funny lines. The scene in which Supes and Lois fly together is one of the most beautiful metaphors for new love ever captured on film. It has actual characters and everything, and Christian Bale's Bruce Wayne even has emotions. The DC Comics universe hasn't flooded the big screen quite the way Marvel ones have, but the DC brand has been hitting the big screen longer in the modern era. We ranked all those modern flicks, from Superman, the movie, to Wonder Woman, and Justice League.